Hi guys and a warm welcome to today's video. If you haven't been here before, my name is Danielle Collins. I'm world leading face yoga expert. I've been teaching face yoga for 16 years now and I'm really passionate about helping people to look and feel the best version of themselves with simple, easy wellness techniques. <laughs> So we're going to do a full face face yoga class. Please just work to your own level with everything. You want to have clean hands. Ideally you want a clean face. It's fine to have a bit of eye makeup on like I have today, no problem. And ideally if you can apply a little bit of moisturizing serum such as Fusion by Danielle Collins Serum or a little bit of oil or moisturizer if you have that, pop that on. And once you've got clean hands, clean face and you've applied your moisturizing serum, you're ready to get going. So we're just going to take a moment to around ourselves. So I'm standing up today, but you may be lying down or you may be sitting, but really try and visualize your feet just going down into the ground. So imagine there's roots from the feet and they're just going down towards the ground. If you're lying down, just be aware of your body on the mat or the bed. And as you ground yourself, I want you to just focus on your breath. So you're going to breathe in through the nose and just allow your abdomen to rise. And then you're going to breathe out through the nose and just allow the abdomen to lower. So you want to inhale for about a count of four, then just pause at the top there, and then exhale for a count of six. Feel that abdomen going back down. This breath is so important for our mind, our body, our soul, but also our face as well. So I'll try and remind you throughout the class just to focus back on that breathing and you'll feel so good after the class if you've done that deep abdominal breathing all the way through. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fingers now and we're just going to come just where the ears are, so right at the bottom of the ears. And then with super light touch, you're simply stroking down. Now, when it comes to lymphatic drainage massage, it's a little bit different from lifting massage, and we will be focusing more on the lifting massage later. When we're working with lifting massage, we're working mostly upwards, and we're really working on getting down to the muscles. So there's three layers of skin, and then you've got that muscle at the bottom there. So when we do lifting massage, we want to get through all those three layers right to the muscle, and really work with stimulating and lifting and helping the circulation through all three. This lymphatic drainage massage is a little bit different. The lymphatic system, which is the body's garbage collector, it collects all the rubbish, the toxins we don't want, and it just gets them out of the body as efficiently as it can. And that lymphatic system is right under the skin surface, so right under that top layer of skin surface. So when we do that, we want to go very gentle. So you can see here, I'm really using feather-like touch as I do this, and I'm going right down to my collarbone, I'm going right down to those lymph nodes, really working down, really helping that drainage. Now you can do this very light stroking action as long as you're not pulling out the skin, almost up to a hundred times. If you want to stop the video and do longer, you can. But what we're going to do is we're just going to come down to the collarbone and we're going to do a little pulsing. Now you may find you sort of swallow or you find that as you do this, maybe a little bit of phlegm comes up in your throat. We're getting things moving here. The lymphatic system really needs a helping hand. So massage, deep breathing, so remembering to do your deep breathing and movement all help the lymphatic system with that job of getting rid of that garbage, getting rid of that rubbish out of our system. And what that means for the skin is healthier skin, it means brighter skin, it means less bloating in the face, less dark skin, circles under the eyes, less puffiness under the eyes, so it's so, so important. So we're just keeping that going a little bit longer there. And again, if you want to do that up to 100 times, you can pause the video and do for longer. You're then just gonna make your hands into this position. So two together and two together and do the same the other side. It's always a tricky one on one of the hands, I find. And you just come with two behind the ear and two in front of the ear. And then you slide down again, very gentle touch here. We're not looking to drag the skin at all and use your breath too. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out, breathe out through the nose. 
And our circulation system, our circulatory system, really has a, a really efficient pump, which is our heart, whereas the lymphatic system doesn't have that pump. So all these moves are really acting as that pump, really helping with that elimination of toxins. And this really does help the skin to look nice and healthy. So we're just going to do a few of those ones. Again, you can go longer, you can do 20, 50, 100. And then we're going to go to the back of the neck. So your fingers are going to be either side of the spine like this. And you're just going to very gently, again, feather like touch. It might feel like you're not doing much, but you want to move downwards. So you're going here. Actually, I'm going to turn around here to show you. So I'm here and I'm just gently moving down. So moving down. And you can even just cup here cut the hands a little bit, moving down. And again, if you feel like you need to swallow, if you've got saliva coming up, you can. If you've got phlegm coming up, it's good to just pop to the bathroom and just spit that out. Just do a few of those. And then we're just going back to that pulsing, just a few more pulses here. Don't worry if you hardly feel anything with this. It doesn't matter. It's not meant to be dramatic, but it really will heed results. So it's really worth doing. So check back in with your breathing for a moment. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Good, okay, now we've done that, we're going to start our forehead today. So we're going to do a combination of exercise, massage, and acupressure on the key areas of the face. So the first one we're going to do is making little fists and using the finger knuckles there, so here and here, and just gliding across. Now, if you have a little bit the Fusion by Daniel Collins Moisturising Serum on, or whatever you usually use, then you'll find that you've got that glide. The reason Fusion is such a good product to use is because it's not quite as heavy as many oils. It doesn't sink into the skin super quick like lots of serums do, so regular serums. This is a moisturising serum, so somewhere between an oil and a serum. And it doesn't also just sink into the skin super quick like a moisturizer cream. So often when you add a cream to the skin, you do massage, you find by the time you get to the second part of the face that actually the cream is sunk in, you haven't got that glide anymore. So it's a perfect product that was developed for us by an amazing skincare specialist and her team here in the UK to work with face yoga. And it's all vegan. It's all certified as organic by the Soil Association. So as you do this, you should start to feel some warmth here, really boosting the blood flow right to that top layer of skin. What you're also doing here is you're relaxing the frontalis muscle. Now the frontalis muscle is a big muscle at the front of the forehead. We hold a lot of stress and a lot of tension in that area and we tend to over express with that area too. So what we want to do is encourage it to relax more and we also want to encourage the skin in that area to look as healthy as possible. So that massage is amazing. Now most of my techniques I'm going to show you are designed to be done about one minute per day. You can do all this routine, but if you want to take out certain ones and add into your day after the video, just use about one minute as a guide. And in my book, Danielle Collins Face Yoga, you will find that all of the techniques are one minute in there. So that's a great little resource to have as well as this video. So we're just going to take our index fingers and just come between the eyebrows now. This is such a beautiful way to relax your proterous muscles so the muscle between the eyebrows. And it's very good if you suffer from number 11 lines, just to help soften those lines. We're relaxing that muscle, which means we're less likely to pull that area in. And again, we're boosting that blood flow. We're helping all the fresh nutrients and oxygen come all the way up to the top layer of skin with that fresh blood. So use your breath still, inhale. And exhale, wonderful, good. And if you have any particular lines which go slightly out to one side or the other side, be quite intuitive with it. And I really encourage you to be intuitive with all face yoga. There's certain things that do feel right, then do a little bit more. If certain things don't feel right, then do a little bit less of those. Okay, so we're just going to take two fingers and thumb and we're just going to hold and pinch between the eyebrows there. So if you can see there, I'm sort of taking my thumb and two fingers and I'm pinching both sides. Again, a really great way 
to help reduce number 11 line. So we're going to hold here and we're going to breathe. And one more breath here. Wonderful. And then we're just going to pinch along our eyebrows, nice and gently pinching across. And this is very good for naturally lifting the eyebrow area. Okay, and one more, so pinching across. Good, and then you're just going to take two index fingers, slide across, feel your skin completely smoothing here. Visualize that muscle relaxing. Use your fingers to keep your forehead nice and taut and smooth there. Then focus on a point in front of you. Open your eyes as wide as possible and try and take two deep breaths. If you need to blink, blink, but if you can just hold those eyes wide without raising the eyebrows, that is fantastic. That is strengthening and toning the muscles around the eyes to smooth any lines, the muscles inside the eyes, which may improve eyesight, and also encouraging this forehead muscle to stay relaxed, to not move, and we're expressing with our eyes rather than our forehead, which is a good tip for day-to-day -day life. Release, smooth the fingers across again, focus on a point in front of you and hold. Good, one more breath. Wonderful. And then just using the palm bit of the hand, both sides smooth, across your forehead just light feather like touch encouraging that forehead muscle just to go into a complete state of relaxation so this one if you want to pause the video and do for longer you can go up to a minute but today we're just going to do that a little bit shorter okay so let's move on a little bit more specifically for our eye area now so let's do a little bit of lymphatic drainage for the eyes we're going to use our ring finger now index finger is absolutely fine to use but i would advise if you're naturally someone who would massage quite deep to use your ring finger just means you've got a little bit less dexterity there and you just go a little bit gentler that's it breathing here and we're working here with that lymphatic drainage getting rid of that garbage or that rubbish and as we do this we're helping to reduce any under eye puffiness any toxicity which may be causing dark circles. And dark circles are a really complex subject. There's lots and lots of reasons we get dark circles. I do have other videos specifically on dark circles if you want to delve into those a little bit more. But this is so good and it just helps to smooth any lines around the eyes as well. We're just very gently working, we're relaxing this area so we're less likely to hold stress and tension, less likely to cause those sort of crow's feet lines either side of the eyes and under the eyes. So let's just breathe here, a couple more rounds of breath. Good, and just bring your finger here. Just press that acupressure point. If you want to swap for index finger, I often do for this point here. And just breathe. This point is so good if you suffer from stress, from anxiety, find it difficult to get to sleep or wake up in the early hours in the morning and want to get back to sleep. Use this point. Focus on your breath. Feel the abdomen rise on the in-breath, fall on the out-breath. And then just circle gently in one direction and in the other direction. Lovely. Okay, bring your hands down now and we're going to work with our cheek area. So we're gonna do really good lower face lifting technique. So if you've watched my videos before or if you've done my face yoga teacher training certification, you will know this one well. I call it the smile smoother. And the reason I love this is it works cheeks, mouth, jaw and neck area. So what we do is we make the mouth into an O shape and you go from an O shape to a smile shape and back again and you keep that going. Hold that smile shape, feel your lip corners lift up, still wrap your lips around the teeth, place your index finger onto your chin, you're going to scoop your jaw backwards. And back 
Top down. So we're just going again here. And back down one more time. Keep lifting those lip corners. Really feel you're working those muscles in the cheeks, around the mouth, jaw and neck. And relax down. So we're going to do another great one which is really good for lifting and firming the cheeks. You're going to just bring the lips inward like this. Lip corners turn up so it's a really good one to encourage lip corners to turn up if you've got slightly downturned lip corners. Then you use your index fingers and you can see here little lines are created. Now, a really important rule in face yoga is you don't want to see any lines being created with the exercises. We're working all the muscles in a very controlled way, but we don't want to crease the skin. So we're going to use the fingers and you're going to do whatever you need to do. Grab a mirror if you need to, to smooth those lines. So we're working the muscle without creating lines. Hold here for a count of 10. Release, take that again. Lips in, lip corners up. Use the fingers to smooth any lines. Release, and one last time. Wonderful.